Hi everyone, I hope that all is well with you all. So do you remember a time last year when Suits came back on Netflix and how it was performing so well that the British media were just wondering and asking questions of uh, why are people binge watching Suits right now? And at that time my thought was it's because Suits has an amazing acting, Suits has amazing actors, the producers did an amazing job, the writers did an amazing job, like everything about Suits is just on point. And then also at the back of my mind I was thinking it's the Megan influence. It's because everything that Megan touches turns into gold. It's because every time you see Megan wearing something it sells out and now that Suits was back on Netflix and Megan was in Suits. It's why uh, Suits was performing so well on Netflix. And I remember vividly Patrick J. Adams even wrote on his Instagram bio saying that I'm the guy from that show you're watching because that woman got married to a prince. And obviously I just thought he was referring to Megan. They knew that people were binge watching Suits because of Megan. That is the star power that Megan has. And even Netflix itself was using Megan's name to promote the show, saying that starring Megan Markle before she got married to a prince. So obviously, these people knew very well that by using Megan's name, it was going to sell the show and people were going to watch it because so many people are just so much interested in everything Harry and Megan do. That is just a fact. And so after all that, Abigail Spencer, who's been a long-time friend of Meghan, said that uh, Meghan Markle's loveliness as one f was one force behind Suits' resurgence four years post-final. So during Abigail's appearance on Sirius XM's The Jess Cagle Show, she shared her opinions about the legal drama's massive resurgence and the newfound intrigue the Duchess of Sussex has given the series. And she said that, I think there are several different things. And also, Megan's loveliness, you know, that everyone is aware of her and her being on the show. You see, I just love how everyone who knows Megan talks about how she's such a nice person, how she's so lovely. And honestly, I'm always going to choose to believe the people who've met Megan, the people who've known Megan for the longest time than the British press. And you can see that she is acknowledging Megan's loveliness. And the fact that everyone is now aware of Megan being the reasons why the show is performing so well. She even added that the resurgence may be in part because of Megan and Harry's Netflix documentary. And she also theorized that Suits, which shares the same platform, may be boosted by the streamer's algorithm. She also continued to say that also during the strike, there wasn't anything else. You know, Netflix repositioned it, so I think there's something to positioning on Netflix and when other things aren't being made, it commands your attention, but it has to be a great, it has to be great for people to watch it. But honestly, I believe that Suits performed so well because it's such a great show. Everything about Suits is just on point. It keeps you uh, seated on the couch just watching episode after episode because you can't get enough of it. That's just it. And I'm sure that um, Netflix also knew that they saw how much people were watching it. So they kept recommending it to more and more people. And also in November of 2023, when Megan had gone to the Power of Women event, you remember she was asked a question about Suits and she said that it was such a great cast and crew. We had a really fun time. And then she added saying that uh, the streaming numbers were wild but credited the show of how well it held up over time saying that it's hard to find a show that you can binge watch that many episodes of these days so that could have been something to do with it saying that 
uh, but good shows are everlasting. Honestly, good shows are everlasting. I don't think people will stop watching Suits anytime soon because it was such a great show. And I love Abigail Spencer. I love the way that she has always defended Megan. You remember in the Harry and Megan documentary the way that she was talking about the bullying that Megan received when she was still a working member of the royal family and literally Abigail Spencer was shedding tears because she could see how much Megan was struggling in that family and she said that she did not deserve any of it. Megan did not deserve any of it, which is very true. And I love that Abigail Spencer has always been a defender of Megan. She has always stood by Megan's side despite everything that the British media have said about Megan. It's because she knew Megan way before she got married to Prince Harry. She knew Megan way before all this bullying, all these false stories were written about Megan. So she continues to support her because she knows the real Megan and it's not what the British media continue to spread around on a daily basis. Also, in other news, Piers Morgan is still being embarrassed left, right and center. So apparently, Piers Morgan had invited someone called Claudia Bolin to his show, then she declined. So I'm just going to read you uh, this exchange. So Piers Morgan had texted her, I guess through Instagram, saying that, Hi, I'm blood them at Piers Morgan's show. I'm reaching out because I wanted to see whether you'd be interested in joining Piers for an interview. Hope we can make it work all the best with, with his blood name. And then Bolin replied back, b replied back by saying that, Hi, I would never sit down with that man after his vile and obsessive treatment of Meghan Markle. I'm not coming on his sorry excuse for a show to boost his ego. He's an Islamophobic opportunist. opportunist. If he wants to do some, some good in this world, he can use his platform to push for a ceasefire all the best. This is the best response that anyone can give to Piers Morgan. Hell no. There's no way I'm coming to that show after all the hatred that you have been spreading around about so many people. You know, the likes of Piers Morgan don't deserve um, any kind of attention. They don't deserve any kind of respect simply because they don't show respect to other people. So I applaud bullying Claudia for what uh, for her reply to Piers Morgan. And I also love the way that she said uh, she emphasized the fact that Piers Morgan has treated Meghan Markle so badly and he's so obsessed about um, his bad treatment of Meghan. Honestly, I don't know if Piers Morgan is going to stop anytime soon the bullying of Meghan and Prince Harry. It seems like it's his full-time job together with his wife. I now see that Piers Morgan's wife is also writing numerous articles about Harry and Meghan. The old family is literally obsessed with Harry and Meghan. See, these people, people like Piers Morgan, just deserve a middle finger and being ignored. So I applaud bullying Claudia very much for her response to Piers Morgan. And I hope that so many other people are going to ignore Piers Morgan and just turn down uh, even appearing on his show. So yeah, that is my opinion on this. And also, kindly let me know what you think concerning uh, Claudia Bullin rejecting Piers Morgan's offer to be at his show and also Abigail Spencer's thoughts on suits and also crediting Megan. Let me know your opinions on all that and I will see you all on the next podcast. Have a wonderful and amazing time. Goodbye.